This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give a what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 653 Tuesdays. We've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron, on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. And we got a hell of a show lined up for you tonight. Loosely, there's no producer, Missy. Who knows what's going to happen with us from Beacon, New York. I was up in his neck of the woods just over this weekend. Mad Mike, the only Mayhemmer with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. Happy early Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy early Valentine's Day. Gross. Gross? <laughs> okay. Also, happy early Single Awareness Day. Singles Awareness Day. <laughs> I don't know. Is that a thing? I thought I heard about it somewhere. I, I think there was like a Singles Day in like like China or something. Um, okay. No, uh, that, that's, that's not that's the same so, thing. No, that's not the same thing? No. no. What, is, what is that? <laughs> What, what is, China people were only allowed to have one child. No, I don't think that's. I don't think that's what they're celebrating. <laughs> oh. No, that's a, that's Larry giving us the China this facts. Is, this the, is already off the rails. The worldly, oh, yeah. the worldly um, knowledgeable Larry. You did spend like six weeks in Dubai. Are we allowed to talk about that? I don't care. <laughs> I told you, Sorg. I don't give a fuck. Uh, wanted, <laughs> wanted by newspapers around Pittsburgh, Larry. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a weird day here. And in the background, that's Matt, that's mainstream Matt. He's uh just taking selfies <laughs> and stuff all around. Is that a DJ Z wait wait, wait, wait put that remember. on the camera? Is that a DJ Z t shirt? Oh, oh look at that. That's fantastic. I don't even have a DJ Z t shirt. Oh man, I'm gonna have to pick one up when he comes to town. Damn. Go check it out. Support support some DJ Z on that. He so needs, he needs a shirt where you can press the button and it actually plays the air horn. Yes, he does. One of those like like that had the lights back in the day and everything. Give me a second. I gotta set up uh mainstream Matt with his uh camera over here. I'm gonna screw no this rush. up all night long. I need to turn his microphone on and everything. No rush. Uh, but no yes, rush. There he is. There he is. Mainstream Matt is with us. Sorry. His 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 he doesn't have any headroom, but that's okay. I'm like uh attitude era stone cold. I just roll in whenever you right, know, right middle in of the, the show. <laughs> right in the beer truck. Yeah. <laughs> also with us, returning to the show, she was on a panel with us last week. Honey Badger is with us. No, that's Larry. Honey Badger's with us. <laughs> I was gonna say I shaved today. So. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, a, a good, a nice flower girl look. It's. <laughs> yeah, my husband's like, you look like a Snapchat filter. I was like, ooh. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Just walking around looking like a Snapchat. It. Filter. Be on a Valentine's Day card right there. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> baby. You look like oh, a Snapchat baby, filter. <laughs> you, you look like a. Mi- All right, it's so we're gonna pick up We need someone on this episode to clip random stills of us. To make Mayhem Valentine's cards. Oh, please. Oh, please. That is your homework assignment for the Mayhemers out there. We haven't even barely started the show here at this. That is the homework assignment. You know, one of them is going to be sword booping the internet. I mean, always, right? (laughs) (laughs) Um, You're the only internet I want to boop. Don't use my uh, Stevie Nicks Jr. screenshot. I'd rather use like my Honey Badger promo photo for my Valentine. That's a request. Okay. Okay. And then I can start selling Honey Badger. Oh, there cards. you go. There you go. You know, there's already these like like great indie wrestling like like cards, collector cards that are going on. Uh, Falcom does some really good ones. I got I got the Rise packs here. I think you're in that one, right? No, I don't know. No. I, you're you're in there somewhere. Uh, no, it, we're, it, not gonna, we're not gonna. Talk. Okay. <laughs> no, it's no big deal. It's just uh, the money hungry bitch was like, "Where are you selling these?" Am I getting a cut? <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I don't need to be like the Pokemon nobody wants. <laughs> <laughs> no one gives a shit about having me in their deck. Well, then, well, you know what? We'll just have Honey Badger Valentine's for you to sell. Boom. There you go. There you go. Um, anyways, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, and we, we should have our trading cards Nobody that nobody would want. 
Uh, <laughs> so, uh, anyways, go check us out, WrestlingMayhemShow.com, where you can find links and subscribe to us in podcast and video form. And you can look us up on your favorite platform for podcasting so you can get us every week. And if you follow certain things like the Sorgatron Master Feed, maybe you'll get our interview with a porn star that was sitting right over there where Honey Badger is now a week ago. Uh, that happened. Yes. Uh, nice job, Yes. Uh, but anyways, uh, you can hit us up at that email address. Good times. Good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. 412-206-WMS0. Tweet us at Mayhem Show. We do a lot of stuff, especially around Monday night during Raw, because, hell, we're looking for things to do during that. Also, hit us on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page and group. A lot of great discussion going on over there. And maybe, like tonight, our buddy Toddy from Thrifty got himself some free passes to uh, the... Uh, um, a fighting with my family movie that was playing here locally because uh, a friend of mine had some extra ones he needed to get rid of. Uh, so, and a lot of the things that we talk about on here. And also, you can join us live on Facebook Live, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Maybe we don't start the show until 9 30, but uh, <laughs> here's a lot this of. what happens when we don't have a producer. There, there might be some other stuff. Well, we'll talk to Mike about like why he has a Lego garage and why it's important because it's The Simpsons. We might talk about you know what we do when our parents aren't home. Um, not now, <laughs> like back in the day, like mostly back in the oh, day. Oh, I thought we meant now. No, no. no. <laughs> All right. And, and uh, you know, you never know. You never know. And, of course, we're streaming on Sorgatron Media platforms all over the Internet as well. But if you're uh, listening to us on any of those, please go over to the Facebook page. It's still dinner time where Tina's at, by the way. There you go. We're helping out with that. Um, there you go. New Patreon level mayhem trading cards. <laughs> So, anywho, uh, speaking of that, we'll get to that in a second, but thanks to our, our friends at the405media.com that carry us every night at midnight Eastern, 9 p.m. Eastern uh, Pacific time, I'm sorry. Uh, they'll have the latest episode, and you can fall asleep to the sweet sounds of mayhem and this kind of stuff. Uh, also, thank you to our Patreon supporters, patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Our friends at the fan of the show, $1 level, Bo Diggity! Woo! It's, it's like, is the woo getting slower? Like, is it? <laughs> I was I, that was that was a less enthusiastic woo because of what happened on Monday. Oh yeah, okay, I got gotcha. you. We're, we're protesting the woo. We're protesting week. the woo. Is this hashtag our hashtag boo? Hashtag boo the woo. Is this our organized hashtag protest? Boo the, boo the woo. woo. Ed Burke, Bobby F. J. Town, and Tina Keys, and at the Pocky Club five dollar level, Occupy Pro Wrestling, Bradley Ruthers, Doc Remedy. Dave Podner of the Tiny Shutter Podcast and Kyle Turner. And at the Pizza Club $10 level, Tony Garza of the Wrestling Revolution.com, who's in the chat room and will be joining us on Mayhem Mania later in the show. You can become a part of the Patreon and get some special perks here in a few weeks as part of Mayhem Mania, especially, and some extra content like we were talking about a few moments ago. So let's get into the promotion that Mad Mike does thinks is make-believe. Uh, AEW had some announcements on Thursday. Um, they what had, channel is it on, Sorg? It's, it's on a channel to be determined in the fall. Oh. Gotta wait for those upfronts, Mike. Gotta wait for those oh. upfronts. It doesn't mean they have, you know, they're not going to tell you now. They have plenty they're, of shows. In they're the pre-tapes, meantime. Mike. They're pre-tapes. There you go. They're taping When's now. the first TV taping? Then? They're, they're, TV ta- they're having pay-per-views, Mike. They're on Fight first TV. First of all. Pay-per-view. Pay-per-view. One. Pay per view. No, uh, single. Two shows, technically. Actually, no, three. No, no because single. We, 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 Singles, know they're com- we're, they're, we know they're coming back for an all in or all out. Um, all in doesn't count because all in was not a part of AEW. Well, now it is. No, no. I, okay, no. let's just agree to disagree and move on with the topic. So is Rey Mysterio going to be an all in double or nothing? Yes. Uh... <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Is Chelsea Green? Mike. I really, I really listen to me. Shut your mouth and tell us why you hate AEW. No, I don't hate them. Okay. I don't well, hate them because right. because every week, every week, we're I'm getting this hostility from you regarding this promotion. We need to temper expectations. Whose expectations? Yours. Everyone's. Okay. You see, Everyone's this is, this saying is a, it's going to this be is a wider, a revolutionary thing. This, this like, is a wider problem, Sorg. This, this is not just a Mad Mike problem. This is a wider social media problem. You see, you can you can pick the least well-informed opinion that you find on Twitter or Facebook or something like that, That's and you mine. can point to that, 
okay, <laughs> as the opinion that represents the, the majority, the when it probably doesn't. When we all know that AEW, you know, has not stated that they want to, you know, compete with WWE or anything like that, you know, they are building at this point. I they fe- just sold out a show in Las Vegas. They did. Coming up later this in year. In 25 yep. minutes. All, with room to, to spare. 14,000 tickets. Stop to it. all scalpers. Stop it. No, did you see the amount of people who were pissed they couldn't get tickets? All right, let's exactly. check all the scalping for the Mania tickets too, Mike. It all happens right, go on, everywhere. Go on to, okay. no, go on to StubHub. That. Let's okay. see what StubHub says. They still got paid for each of those now look. tickets. Huh? It's true. All right. So I, ju- I just think, you know, uh, I just think you're being a little bit overly negative toward this uh I'm just this saying entire we need thing. to temper expectations because I look at it so far like Malibu Stacy in a new hat. I don't even understand Wait, what you're what? talking what about. What are we talking about? That's a toy Dude, it's a Simpsons you reference. spent way too much time working in a toy store. That's what we just learned. It's a Simpsons reference. The, or why you've watched way too much of The Simpsons. Well, clearly, I definitely have that. Yeah. But no, no. There's a lot of great talk about AEW. There's a lot of uh, great there, results so far, too. There's there have been no A results. lot of signings. There's a sold-out show in Las Vegas coming up but later this year. there is no product. There is a product. There's a show. There is a sold-out show in Las Vegas. That's is, the damn product, Mike, at this point. And we, we will see what comes, you know, what comes after it. We haven't seen it. You we haven't seen know, the show? You- we have, we but don't you know have seen the talent they've signed. Yeah, yeah. You gotta admit it's pretty impressive. No, I'm I not. Don't, I don't. I don't think isn't. because those people are now on an AEW show, it's like, oh, Britt Baker forgot how to wrestle or fuck that Pentagon guy. No, I'm not. I'm <laughs> yeah, not right. That. <laughs> right. That's what I mean. I'm not saying that. I I want it to do well. Yes. I'm just saying. I mean, we all, like that, the wrestlers are the product. So that mm-hmm. TNA, TNA had a lot of big name signings. They have oh, financial I, backing. I see where we're I'm at. I'm just saying. I, this is this is PTSD. This is PTSD from TNA. Uh, Mike <laughs> just TNA cannot TNA. believe, cannot believe a fi- a well financially backed company that is run by wrestlers that have been through the shit can provide yep. a good product. Look, he's he's nodding and agreeing with me. Well, it is defense. When the inmates <laughs> run the asylum, and those inmates being the Young Bucks and Cody in this case, and previous, previously maybe it was Eric Bischoff and Jeff Jarrett and whoever else Paul in Heyman. the revolving door that was, that was uh, TNA Impact Wrestling, but you cannot believe you have been you have been hurt too many times mike we know we all want to digitally hug you through the internet because what intact impact wrestling has done to you okay yeah. and all the all the people that blocked you okay we maybe yeah. we don't feel so bad about that part because you did kind of deserve it and you admit that but anyways but other only, than that only hulk hogan only hulk hogan, hogan. We, we were only only hulk hogan was, we're okay no because i never actually talked about tna on my on my personal Twitter feed, I only talked about Which the means, Mayhem show. Obviously, they're listening to, that, to this show. Hi, Sanjay. Hi, Jacobs. Hi, uh, Josh. Hi, uh, well, yeah. I know he listens. Uh, oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, hi, guys. Um, see you soon. Uh, anyways, but um, <laughs> but no, we, we're gonna like Mike. Mike, we're gonna li- give you a big digital Mayhem show hug and say it's okay. It's okay to dream again. It's okay to believe again. That AIW uh, I'm, I'm could be. To... I'm not saying that Vince McMahon is shitting his pants in Titan Towers right now. No, I am saying are people saying that though. That's my point. Those are the internet <laughs> fans that think they know. You're you're, why... you're picking out a handful of people who are who are oh, saying things that are wildly handful. misinformed. You it's okay? You're extrapolating this, Mike. This, this, you this think silent? Way this, more this, than a handful. Way more. Way too talkative minority. Of it's people who don't have a clue what they're talking about, and listen, you are listen. following the wrong people on social media, and, and you're reading and, the uh, wrong dirt sheets. Well, the right people, you're, blocked you're, him. you know, <laughs> it, it was another podcast that one, you know, so, somebody else got in this line, and they said, "You're stop reading those websites. <laughs> they're bad for you, and they shouldn't be cited no, in proper I publications." Well. I hope they do well. I hope they have a TV deal on a network that actually matters. And I hope they run a lot of shows. Am I, I saying AIW? Am are, I saying AIW? saying AIW? Listen, yeah, AIW, saying... we know they're for real. We gotta get them they a throw TV good deal parties. Too. Okay, they, yeah, they need a damn TV <laughs> deal while we're at Absolute Intense Wrestling. Those guys fucking kick ass up there in Cleveland, and they should get 
they should be everywhere. Um. Anyways, that's let's just clear that up. No, AEW. I, I, hope, I hope AEW does well. I it really does. do. Well, I but think th- until I see their product. Either way, and they're going to have see what they're putting. In. Sorry, I'm just if saying. You guys don't stop fighting. I'm telling doing. mom. <laughs> oh, we're yes. just getting warmed when up. She comes home. We're so, we're screw- so screwed. Producer Missy is going to be like, "Why is this show three hours?" And the first 25 minutes is arguing with Mike. Be like, "Well, well have you fair, seen you the last 600 episodes?" <laughs> I started it. Anyways, a- because I talked about AEW. AEW, by the way, they had you a pool party. Like, let's get Mike angry. <laughs> AW had a pool party. We're not getting you angry. We're not getting you angry. We had a pool party. You're doing this all on your own. <laughs> you're you're this whole thing is manifesting in your own brain, just like it's manifesting into the angry. brains of other people. All right, I'm let's get fast. Mike voicing stuff out there. Yeah. Okay. Mike, we've hugged Mike. Let's move on. My Matt, what happened at AAW? Mad pool? Mike, I love you. <laughs> we love you, Mad Mike. <laughs> We're here for you. Main Street Matt, what happened at the pool party? <laughs> uh, I can't I gotta collect myself now. Kenny Omega showed up. Oh shit! Completely ruining everybody's mayhem mania. That son of a bitch. <laughs> I told uh, you to, to give Matt it a week. Don't doubt <laughs> me. I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for five damn years on mayhem mania, and I know what I'm doing. Don't ever question me again, Alex Still Cars. Still should have allowed him. No. Still should have allowed him last week. Sends a lot of hostility. Welcome to the mayhem show. <laughs> <laughs> Omega showed up. Um, then Jericho came out. Uh, they had a little tussle with a sweet hat, by the way. With a sweet hat, they had a little tussle. Um, so we're gonna get uh, Omega versus Jericho at Double or Nothing. Two. Uh, also earlier, um, uh, Pentagon and Phoenix showed up. Uh, one of them beat up one of the Bucks. Uh, so I guess that's gonna be a match at Double or Nothing. We're gonna get the the Bucks versus the, the Pentagon up. and Phoenix. Although Phoenix apparently got got hurt somewhere along the line. So which I'm saying on one. Hopefully he's two, all right. The two of them are supposed to be here. The Lucha Brothers are supposed to be here in Pittsburgh in a few weeks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so. against the CU, right? Yeah. What's that? End against of the month. CU? Uh, uh, no, against uh, DJ Z and Sam Adonis. Mm-hmm. I thought they were also wrestling at CU somewhere. Uh, right? I, that's somewhere else. I don't know where that's yeah. going. Okay. Some other, I don't know. There's uh, a- yeah, but the, um, yeah, those are kind of the high points. Um, there were some other talent announcements of, uh, you know, so pretty good uh, female. Th- they filled out that female roster pretty well. Um, Aja Kong is in there, which is interesting. And, Kylie Ray, um, did I get that right? I, I forget her okay. name. I want to say Smiley maybe Kylie. Lexi Fife. Yeah. Lex, uh, is that the... the the transgender wrestler? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Which is awesome. That's great. That's fantastic. Uh, Sunny Kiss, like, open the thing. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> well, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, They're just hit. They're taking my favorite Lucha Underground people that Impact doesn't already have. You know, I heard the greatest thing this weekend. Um, there was a there was a, a guy that's in training right now, and you know, I was like, "Well, hey, what's your character going to be? You know, how's that coming and everything?" And it says, "And I love that Sunny Kiss was cited as like an inspiration for his character. Like we're at that point with that, and and that's awesome. And you haven't seen a Sunny Kiss. Um, what uh, was it? Exalicious on Lucha Underground." Uh, mm-hmm. In this last season, and um, no, really, really good wrestler and a really cool character. Uh, so, uh, but no, it, it was it was a lot of fun with that. Um, I mean, it was the usual like kind of interesting technical difficulties. I don't know if they have live oh, production rate for these things yet. So. Sorry, guys, I just want to correct myself. It's Nyla Rose. Thank you. Thank you. I Nyla didn't think Rose. that That's name was, was right. No, no, it was no. Lexi Pipe is a different wrestler. Mm-hmm. It's Nyla Rose. Um, Gar- Garza said AEW signed Batista. Man, that's not settle real. down, Carson. No, no. Car- Stop Carson. Stop reading those websites. Stop uh, it. It, it, it's your website. It's, it's my on website. Facebook. <laughs> AEW did announce um, there's going to be a triple threat at uh, Double or Nothing, and it's going to be Britt Baker versus Nyla Rose versus Kylie Ray. Ooh. So that's going to be that'll be pretty good. I would that'll hope. Be good. Um, uh, so Kylie Ray. Britt. Kylie Ray was just at IWC. Um, that 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 cool gif I put out where she slides in and falls asleep, which is like my favorite gif. Oh yeah. The last couple um, of I believe that move is called the Jigglypuff. Is it? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. She was wearing Pokemon gear, so. Oh, so sense. actually, that probably is. It what actually she's probably is. It's that probably, probably is exactly it. Let's see. Uh, Garza uh, is uh, apparently reporting at the Re- WrestlingRevolution.com. AEW just signed the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe. So oh, while we're at it. Good for them. <laughs> so. Just the ones who got Fin- snapped. Finally, yeah. the Marvel Cinematic Universe is going to get over, brother. <laughs> exactly um but no i think it's shaping up either way either way double or nothing is going to be a fun show yes um, yeah double or nothing is going to be a good show 
Yeah. I'm I'm excited to see what they do afterwards. But but um, I was disappointed no one got thrown in the pool. Me too. I, I mean, thought Jericho was going in the pool. I thought it was like the cake. Like in pro wrestling, if you have a pool or a cake, someone's going in. I mean, that's how or it goes. WC- that's that shows you. That shows you. This is going to be a different kind of promotion. All class. All Classic class. Promotion. Yeah, Classic that shows promotion. you it's not getting no more WCW cheap tricks. Spring break. That's right. <laughs> and if anything else, that should assure you it's not going to be WCW. It's not going to be TNA. No it's one's mom's going break. on a pole. Nobody's mom is going on a pole. <laughs> oh, I bet Mama Buck is. What? I don't know. <laughs> The mom of the young bucks. Okay, uh, I don't know. <laughs> um. Anyways, uh, along with that, and and because Alex Miller, I'm going to blame you for this next segment. Um. Along with that, while people are getting snapped up by AEW, some people are not able to, because this is I and I don't know what you know goes into this other than there's legal action happening. But apparently, several Lucha Underground stars that have not popped up anywhere are filing a class action lawsuit against Lucha. Or at least the holding company or whatever that does lucha. So wow. I would not, I would not blame our friends in the lucha production department for this. By the way, you know this is something else entirely. Evilise, of course, yeah, mentioned I'm, there. I'm pretty sure the only reason that uh, Penta and Phoenix are able to be in AEW is because they announced the partnership with AAA. Yeah, because a lot of those came over as like that partnership. But I think this is like Joey Ryan, Evilise, like a lot of the more American talent. I think we're under different sorts of contracts and, and that right. might have done it. Right. And of course, you know, Lucha gets filmed in, you know, what, a couple months. Right. And then the TV trickles out and then there's like the options and there might be, maybe not, who knows the season four, you know, cause it seems like a mystery five. every year. Five. Oh, five. those are up to five. Sorry. Um, with everything. So I wonder, I wonder how that's going to roll I, out. I, I mean, I, I think we got to say right now out loud, uh, Lucha Underground's on the ropes. It is like, yeah, oh, really? they don't have the talent. I mean, I I, I know they've got the creative. <laughs> we know that. Yeah. Um, but like, how can you move forward if you're gonna like turn over? I mean, it, there's a list of you know the the list of people who are you know reportedly you know now suing you know the production company from like Joey Ryan to Evilise to to Cuerno. Hano to mm-hmm. Cuerno. I mean, that's like that's like the core of. The, the crew mm-hmm. and then you've got you know stacked on the people who have already kind of moved on you know mm-hmm. uh puma etc um and what's going to be left i mean it, like how do you, how do you move forward you know we know from talking with you know the joseph and others there that there's always been a long ster- a long term story in place mm-hmm. but how how can you possibly you know execute that and and adapt that you know, it just seems like you're asking too much with this much, you know, talent turnover to be able to move forward with this story I, in a I way that's going to They're probably work. asking too much without the guarantee that they're going to be able to tell the full story. Yes. Yes. Well, I think I think what ends up happening when, I, you know, I, I've heard this from everybody from fans to promoters in the last week with AEW. It's like, oh, God, they're getting everybody what's left. Right. Yeah, um, between, between Impact, AEW, and WWE. Yeah, I, with the, as far as exclusive contracts and everything, right? Um, I mean, Shane Taylor is a, a face that we've liked to see around here, but now he's under an exclusive contract with with ROH. So what does that mean? Do we get to see him? Actually, I think well, he's at least doing a seminar somewhere. So anyways. He's doing the New Japan stuff, too. And he's Well, he did the New Japan, like the fill-in for the American yeah. leg. I don't know if, what that means. for. Hopefully that means he'll also pop up. By the way, Dutters is still sending me random gifts from the last show. Uh, anyways, <laughs> um, and I'm oh, sorry, other stuff in the chat room. So, so my answer to all of that, and maybe Lucha Underground, maybe Lucha Underground becomes Lucha Underground the next generation. Um, that, <laughs> so we're gonna have Patrick, Patrick Stewart. If Patrick Stewart is involved with that. Oh, you've oh. just answered all the dreams I didn't know I had. And now I want to see Dario Cueto as the captain. Of the I Enterprise. know, right? Uh, let's just mix it all up. They could just do a time warp thing with their <laughs> but, star. With what? all this talent mm-hmm. popping up and getting snatched up, just like how many times were we like, oh, I don't know what's going to happen with NXT. Well, that's a that's the next talent is going to step up and have the opportunities and take that. It's the opportunity for them to do that, right? Whether it be on the indies, and you'll get the new um, Joey Janela, you'll get the new Honey Badger. Who knows? You know, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, there's a lot of our there's a lot of holes that are going to be needed to fill, and people looking to fill spots on cars that you know the Britt Bakers and the Chelsea Greens took, right? And that's just opportunities. Mm-hmm. And 
the smartest and most talented of the up and coming couple year in wrestlers are going to figure that out. And we'll be talking about a whole new crew of people as let's say the top of the card gets is mushrooming yeah. between between our NXTs, our 205s, our UKs, our AEWs, Ring of Honor is now doing Dojo Wars. Like they're, yeah. they're filming NXT style at you know some warehouse in Delaware. I don't know. Uh, I just discovered it this week, so I'm still figuring that out. Um, you know, John Luke Picardo Cueto. Nice, oh, mm-hmm. nice. nice. Um, but yeah. even as we sit here today, I'm sure that between the four of us, five of us, we could come up off the top of the head. You know, a handful of guys on the indies in our opinion who are out there free agents that we think are like overdue to sign oh, with God, a real promotion Lee Moriarty yeah. Yeah. <laughs> literally <laughs> about Lee Moriarty <laughs> so we're you know the main so, event <laughs> so there is obviously like a ra- so obviously like the race is on to like lock people up mm-hmm. but there is still a lot of quality guys out there absolutely absolutely girls, and, and, girls and guys sorry there you go I'm trying <laughs> um no it'll be interesting to see what comes of that here um Whoopi Goldberg versus Pentagon Dark. There we go. Well, <laughs> you know, in the meantime, I think we've just booked an entire new series. So, uh, to Joseph and Wagner, if you're out there, I think uh, we just we just found your next project. Lucha uh, Underground, the next generation. Lucha Underground. Lucha, Lucha Underground, Deep Space Nine, Lucha Underground Voyager. El Dragon, Azteca, the third. J.J. <laughs> Abrams presents Lucha Underground, the bad one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's just a giant rain cloud over Beacon, New York, right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more of a snow cloud, actually. But yeah, it actually was a snow cloud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad I got out of your neck a little bit before that came down. Uh, <laughs> it would have been a different kind of weekend. Anyways, um, you have just been crashing here, Sorg. Might have. Be like, I know a dude. Hey, no, that that dude at Long Island really wanted us to stay over at his house. Which he was like, don't really ever insistent. stay at a place in Long Island. <laughs> That's Sorg. how every Law and Order episode starts. <laughs> and then- <laughs> He's got a point. <laughs> okay. There what you the go. hell was he Lucha thinking? Underground dun, 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 you know, <laughs> somebody was pitching me. Oh, an, somebody oh, was bitch. pitching me an angle to shoot like an SVU style thing with like some of the local wrestlers here. Oh my god! Fuck, you know yes. SVU is Do it. Was, it. It was just like that's a little rapey of a storyline for me to want to film, but okay. Um, but okay. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who this doesn't start? reflect Who well on my moral compass, but all right. Maybe, <laughs> yes. You know what? I'll do it, but I'm not happy about was it. Was it Jackson Argos? <laughs> it was Pay probably me. Jackson Argos. <laughs> it was not Jackson Argos. It was Christian Noir. But anyways, that... <laughs> now I really want to see so it. If you, I know, right? <laughs> By the way, Christian Noir, stop spitting your voodoo goo on me at ringside, okay? Um, uh, it was dark, and I didn't find it until I'm like in Permanent. I'm like, what's all this like green and black shit all over me? But Indie wrestling, guys. <laughs> Indie wrestling. <laughs> Indie wrestling. Oh, Let, boy. Lucha Underground, the wrestling dead. Well, mm-hmm. pro wrestling versus zombies, too. Ugh. Yeah. Um, Jesus, no. Yeah. <laughs> have you watched it? A lot of friends in there. Anyways, <laughs> speaking of the next generation of wrestling, you can go check out some of it over at Indie Wrestling Network and Indie Wrestling.us. Um, a lot of great stuff. You can uh, check out stuff from Rise Wrestling with a Y. <laughs> There's one. There's one. There's one. 2PW, Prospect Pro Wrestling, our Renegade Wrestling Alliance, Fight Society, Angel Gate, Welterweight Wrestling, and so much more, uh, including shows like Duke and Doe's Hardcore Memories and Breakfast with Champions. By the way, everybody lost their belt as of like two weeks ago, I think, from that finally. And we recorded back in November. There's still an episode I need to put out of it, too. So it's a nice little time capsule for you guys. Uh, so go check it out. You can start with your seven-day free trial at IndieWrestling.network and it's just five ninety nine dollars a month, fifty nine ninety five dollars for the entire year. Go check it out. Uh, get a uh, quick, uh, your, your weekly dose, your monthly dose of independent pro wrestling. Uh, shows from Rise, IWC, RWA, and others show up day and date with their VOD components. And you get uh, some uh, exclusive content. Um, of course, the 2PW and um, your uh, d- 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 Uprise. That's the other one uh, is a part of that as well. Uh, anything not on the network, of course, is available over VOD, like for Fight Society and Angel Gate at IndieWrestling.us. Uh, so go check it out and see the next generation of that. And also, check out Honey Badger over there, too. 
We got a lot of stuff going on over there. Yes. You just had a match at Rise with a Y two weeks ago. Uh, I, uh, you were in the first round of the uh, tag team tournament. Didn't go uh, as well as we wanted, but yeah, boo. But well, it was a good match. I'm not happy about that. Was it your partner's fault? No. No. It was just it's Keith Hot. You can't blame Keith Hot. Oh, you can't. No. Um, I mean, like, no. He, I just didn't. We just, you know, we didn't. We underestimated Grindhouse, and I got the upper. That Christian Noir. With that voodoo goo. With his gooey shit. With his gooey shit. It gets you every time. Every time. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, uh, But no, Sorry. go check out that and so much more. <laughs> now, now, we're, now we all give you a Mayhem Digital hug. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> go check all that stuff out. Um, coming up this week on there, um, the latest Fight Society and Rise uh, Pro for, out of uh, McKeesport and Erie will be a part of that Black Diamond Wrestling in the next two weeks on the network too. Uh, so... Uh, what? So up next, well, first of all, speaking of Honey Badger, you have some exciting stuff going on that I wanted to touch on real quick. You're with Rise with an I here coming up soon. I am. I will be in Orlando a week from tonight. Nice. Um, and this was something that I, I Rise came to Pittsburgh. Um, well, I guess almost a year ago at this point. Just under a year ago, like yeah. Uh, a- April or May. Like, it's crazy. It hasn't even been a year yet. And I think it was the kickoff of, like, their TV, like, their online TV uh, episodic stuff. Yeah, the the Rise Ascent um, program, which is basically them showcasing, like, still their their main um, core talent. Mm -hmm. Um, But the Ascent was kind of focused, too, on, like, their seminars and basically looking for, you know, the next kind of, we were talking about with, you know, Lucha Underground, like, their next generation of of Rise, cause same thing, you know, a lot of their women that are still still involved, but it's like only a matter of time before they get snatched up too. you know, like Tessa Tessa's involved in impact and, you know, Brits Brits doing great things, Chelsea Green. So they're yeah, it's kind of crazy. And it was a um, it was a TV specific seminar, the one that I did with um, that IWC hosted. Um, so thank you, IWC, for that opportunity. Mm-hmm. But um, it was specifically for like TV specific things like. Simple things, even like just how to position yourself in the ring when you're doing promos. Um, Jimmy Jacobs was there, Sanjay Duet, um, Gail Kim, uh, Bill Demott. Um, so there was a lot of there was a lot of really big uh, women talent there too. I was like, okay, don't freak out, don't mark out, just like shake their <laughs> hand. They're just here to do what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, it was it was a really amazing uh, seminar alone. And then, uh, my brain blew out the back of my head when they were announcing like talent for the next day. Mm. And, uh, me and Jinx opened up the show and then I had a match with, uh, Miranda Alizé. Um, so it was just like the most insane 48 hours of wrestling for me. Um, so luckily I, uh, I made some sort of an impact cause I got voted uh, seminar discovery for two, 2018 nice um which solidified my spot at uh chicago on march 23rd um and then i happened to I'll, I'll also be down there now for orlando uh, a week from today and then there's one more there's one more big one coming up but when i get the thumbs up we can talk about it. but there's there's gonna be a big there might be something big coming it sounds like 2019 is the year of the badger it's <laughs> it's really it's really insane because i had this mentality going into 2019 just because i've been having some health issues i was like Mm. all right i'm gonna ramp it down Mm. you know stay stay loyal to rise with a y because that's my home (laughs) company and you know maybe you know here and there like revenge pro because i've been doing cool things with them too and uh you know just some local places and then it just blew up Mm -hmm. like insane to the point of like oh man do i have to like quit my job because i can't keep up with these bookings um and my that, shoot job but, and, that, uh, and that's that's the coolest thing you're the, this is the, you're the second person this week that i've heard about like like oh i think i need to leave my day job to do the make wrestling the job and that's that's gotta be a fun and exciting and scary point oh, to terrifying get to. for yeah. me yeah personally so um so it, when i go ahead. sorry sorry um so oh, when you sorry. went to the seminar you did not anticipate you were going to have a match. Oh, not at all. I, I honestly was just there to, you know, I, I seriously went in in all reality, like, all right, I'm just going. Well, the other kind of thing that tipped me off too is, so they said that there was going to be talent picked from the seminar for the show, mm-hmm. but it was already, I already saw on the poster that um, Katie Arquette and Jinx were on there. And I was kind of like, all right, 
they're they're IWC's girls. Mm-hmm. They're obviously gonna kind of thank IWC by putting their talent on there and everything, as they you know as they kind of should. And uh, so I was like, so they already have the talent. So I was already in this thing of like, all right, I'm just going in. I'm mm-hmm. just gonna try to not fuck up. And just learn as much as possible, just take as many notes as possible. And um, yeah, it was just it was just a crazy day of like doing promos and doing like matches and just kind of like a little bit of drills. But Mm -hmm. like I said, it was more focused on like character and just getting critique on like our promos and stuff like that. It sounds like such an intense like just the four names you mentioned who were doing the seminar. It sounds like such an intense like just dump of information coming at you. Oh my god, I couldn't take notes like fast enough and that's what you were saying I, I forget if it was on the show or off last week when we did the uh, indie mail you said you were like the only one like with a tablet taking notes during this i mean yeah that's just mainly i just wanted to absorb as much mm. information like that that's been kind of my thing lately um it was last year and then um last year kind of got my my wrestling goals like i made a goal to wrestle in three new states and that got all messed up because of my health issues um and then also just do as many seminars as i could because i was mm. like okay like i I can obviously get booked and like I was, you know, I, I can fill up my dates. Now I want to take it to the next level of more quality shows for these fans coming out and everything like that. And then just develop me, my, you know, in the ring and everything like that. Um, and, and of course there was always the thought of like, all right, let's get in front of these eyes and be like, Hey, there's a chick in Pittsburgh. She's not that great of a wrestler, but she, <laughs> she can pull off a gimmick, which, you know, is kind of like the only thing that if, anything big ever happens that's like my only card that i've left to pull but at the same time it was just like i i just to answer your question i totally went in like oh i'm not getting picked i plan on going to the show Mm as like you know ring crew and and you know just like roadie stuff um and then we're sitting at the end like literally they were just like they they sent us all the girls outside and we're outside for like 25 minutes and i'm just like oh man i can't wait to leave i'm so hungry like and everything like that not like i'm ready to leave but it was just like we knew it was the end of the day yeah, and yeah, it was going to be yeah. over probably within the half hour and you're expecting to be there the next day and probably want to rest exactly yeah. like you know and then um the next thing i i know they're like okay open up the show it's going to be jinx and honey badger and like i said my i was i i think i was like writing down stuff and i was like <laughs> Like I actually and you write down your own name and you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, like, I, <laughs> that seems familiar. Yeah, it was almost like, wait a minute, that's my name. Wait, <laughs> did they pick me? So I was like, holy shit. And then they called me again uh, for like the the taping, and, like it was gonna be on their thing, and I was like, I'm gonna throw up. It was it was just like I was just so overwhelmed with like like the opportunity. Um, so I, after dropping off one of the IWC trainees, um, cried the whole way back to my house, like that <laughs> ugly, like happy cry, like, oh my God, <laughs> oh my God, I'm doing the thing that I was like, would try to do. But <laughs> so, so traveling to Chicago and Orlando, is that about as far out as you've, as you've uh, gotten as far as the, uh, well, I have, te- taken bookings? <laughs> I have technically traveled to Chicago. Okay, great. For, it was actually supposed to be my first rise seminar. And okay. then Mother Nature was like, no, bitch, we're going to mess this up. <laughs> and then I went down in history as the person who's went the farthest for pizza, for a pizza date. I, oh, I remember that. Because I left, I left Pittsburgh that day at like 8 a.m. Um, because the crazy weather coming in, it was, it was with Tom Pritchard. Tom Pritchard's flight got canceled. And then they had... the. Chicago was like shutting down the day before. So, you know, if Chicago was shutting down for snow, yeah. it's like, it's no joke. Like flights were getting canceled already and everything like that. And so I get there and I realize this and I'm like, what the fuck do we do? <laughs> and I call the airline. I'm like, I have to get on my return flight because where I was working at the time was like, there's no like calling off or anything like that. They were yeah. very strict about it. So I was like, I have to be back in time to go to work. And the airline was basically like, you need to get the fuck out now. <laughs> so i was like all right so we literally just jumped in the nearest got the first uber and i was back in pittsburgh at like 9 p.m just sour as shit just like fucking shitty pizza and i had to throw away a whole fucking bottle of jack daniels because i was so mad i was just like ugh. it's such an indie kind of story like going all that all that trouble just for like a chance yeah and you it know? was my first like big like I'm traveling for wrestling. I'm traveling for a seminar. Like yeah. I'm, I'm going to dedicate my time and you know, whatever. And just like, hope this works out. And I dragged my husband with me. Um, well, he wanted to come, but he was like, just getting over sick. So he's like, 
not feeling great in this like germy airport and we're going back and forth we got like robbed at this little convenience store so it's like we finally get to the hotel we just want to get some <laughs> wait, snacks wait, wait, wait. Figuratively? oh no not not like actually like give me all your money no like the guy charged a ridiculous amount of money for some fucking ramen and a bottle of booze. It was like 5405. I was like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> is there like someone gonna come like make ramen like like at my bedside in the welcome, hotel? Is that welcome what I in Chicago? We do ramen different. <laughs> I know, apparently. Um, but yeah, it was that was really fun. But yeah, this will this will definitely be the furthest. And then like I said, with that um other announcement, once it's once it's okay, I I might might be going further. So, so, we'll so in Orlando, I, I see you are taking on another friend of the show. Uh, we talked with Arya Blake um, a while ago on Indie Mayhem show. And you guys can go check that out in the archives as well, as well as old interviews with Honey Badger as well. So um, that's cool. That, that's real cool. Uh, so a nice day in Orlando. <laughs> oh, yeah, because <laughs> Mick's going to be there. Oh, that's right. Mick, Mick Foley. Mick Foley will be uh, actually at the seminar. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to really try not to cry because Mick Foley is like. Have you been on a show with Mick? No. Oh, dude. You know what? I, 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 I talked about this on the show a couple weeks ago. Like Mick is just the dad, you oh. know, in, in, at a show. Like he is the most for even the first time I met him and actually had to interact with him on a video basis. Uh, it was just like, he's the most disarming, just, it's Mick Foley. You've seen him. He's exactly like you see on TV. He's your dad of wrestling. Aww. So, um, it's... It, not to be confused with daddy. What? Not to be confused with daddy. No, not daddy. That's something else. I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I think you'll have, you'll have a lot of fun there. And, and yeah, I'm I'm jazzed, like, to... Uh... Like I said, another situation where I was just going, honestly, for the seminar, and then uh, Kevin Harvey, the main promoter mm -hmm. there, was just like, hey. I was like, oh, okay. All right, let's do this. <laughs> this is so scary. <laughs> and awesome. then uh, I'll be facing uh, Thunder Kitty yeah, in nice. Chicago. That was gonna be, that's going to be real fun. Yeah, we've seen her around the area as well, and... Um... You know, I, I think it was the, the first match, the first major discussion we had on intergender wrestling on the show. And I think I mentioned it. Uh, the first uh, panel we did on Indie Mayhem show uh, involved her and Darcy Dixon. So, yeah, uh, so that's cool. That's cool. It, come, it comes around. <laughs> so uh, that's great. So check it out. It's going to be um, this is going to be recorded for uh, their their on online channel, probably. Yeah, it will definitely be for um, part of I think this is also still part of Rise Ascent. Yeah. Um, and then the Chicago one, which is actually we're almost sold out of uh, or they're almost sold out, I should say, of uh, reserve seats. There's like 20, like less than 20 left. Jeez. So this is going to be like a huge show. And uh, Kevin's doing something really cool uh, where before the show, they're actually doing almost like a Comic-Con-ish uh, kind of like panel. Like it's going to be called Early to Rise where the fans will actually be able to come in early and like hang out with us and hit the merch tables. Like I'm going to have some uh, exclusive merch that's only there for the early to rise part. And uh, there's going to be like a couple matches for the fans too, to kind of get. So it's, it's going to be a really cool day for just women's wrestling in general. Um, but uh, it's uh, or, or I'm sorry, not Orlando. Uh, Chicago is um, actually going to be available on fight. Okay. Um, fight so TV. You, yeah. So you can actually get it either through, like you can obviously watch it live mm -hmm. and then you'll be able to get the obviously edited, cut uh later on rise of, rise ascent so awesome yeah so definitely invest in yourself a lot more eyeballs gonna be on honey badger this year that's Hopefully. awesome and it's honey badger with a y as i've been told in the chat room <laughs> just to be and also phoenix sean phoenix with an i is i knew out there as well. i knew it was sean phoenix <laughs> before i even looked i was like yep there's sean just being Sean. Being Sean. Yeah, yeah. Making <laughs> so, jokes. Making, making jokes. Making the jokes. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, great stuff happening with Honey Badger here. Uh, looking forward to see what uh, happens with that <laughs> fight with a Y. No, I don't think that's... Don't type, <laughs> don't type that in. Or fire with a Y, that either. Um, anyways... <laughs> We learned about that <laughs> on the other don't podcast. No, don't, don't plug that one in. Um, but, uh, you know, great stuff happened in women's wrestling there, but also great things happened in women's wrestling. Well, we'll see. Um, I think some people have some different opinions. Uh, the new tag team uh, women's championship is going to be uh, earned in... Decided. Decided, sorry. Uh, in the Elimination Chamber this uh, weekend for uh, that uh, pay-per-view special hey, event. Hey, sword. Yes. Um, Ty Cross with an I is also in the chat room. He okay. said, "Say hi." Oh, good. Oh, good. We got that out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah. Because he, he's 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 gonna keep saying he's not getting acknowledged if we don't say something. So, 
I didn't even see him in there. But anyways. Hi, Ty Cross. <laughs> there you go. My flannel house. You gotta buddy. say hi That's to That's right. Your teammate in Flannel House. We gotta, That's right. We gotta bring that back. Yes. Flannel House was a blast with you guys. <laughs> uh, by the way, we didn't mention your her her tag team with um with Keith Hot is Honey Bear. Honey bear. That's weird. So <laughs> we got to work on. Uh, I haven't found the right. Like right now, we've just been coming out to my my jam. But mm. I got to find there. There's a there's a musical nugget somewhere for me and Keith Hot to come out. I don't know if it's just like anime music. Like that's the only one lately that I'm like. Just come out the Dragon Ball. I don't know. Like a techno version of Winnie the Pooh. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Well, there's a GIF somewhere that is just Cubone and Pikachu, and I was like, Jesus, this is me and Keith. Like, <laughs> we are we are live action Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> gotta catch them all. Uh- <laughs> Except my skull's not the skull of my dead mother. Sad Cubone fact. <laughs> what? Yeah, the yeah, Cubone. Pokemon there's cannon. like there's like a crazy deep story that like. Hits you out of left field. So Cubone, the little like dinosaur looking guy that has a skull and uh-huh. he carries a bone. Uh-huh. It's the skull of like his dead mother. And like, yep. apparently there's some like crazy, like ritual type thing that. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, is this in the uh-huh. cartoon? I don't this know. If they, I don't know this if it was everywhere. like, yeah, I don't know if it, it was ever like featured in the cartoon, but like in the Pokemon lore. It's like that's it's his mother's skull. Like, yeah, like you thought Land Before it, it, Time it, fucked you up. Yeah, yeah Pokemon was like, hold my beer. Yeah. <laughs> In the first Pokemon game, you have to like comfort the spirit of Cubone's mother. Oh shit, that's right. It wasn't Cubone; it was his mother. And then you catch a Cubone. Yeah. <laughs> Sorg yeah. is like, I never the, thought of all the conversations. It was in, like the Lavender Town. Yes. Um, Yes, yeah, so you're walking around in the grass, and all of a sudden it's like, Ch-ch-ch. and then it's, it's like, like oh, it's a dead spirit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Matt, you okay <laughs> over there? Sorg, I'm never letting my kids near Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that of all the conversations I've brought to the table on these podcasts, it was the one about Cubone that everyone's like, yes. I am scarred. Yes. <laughs> Um, and I won't watch Land Before Time. Again. I, 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 um, I, I that Scar Hill and have a good cry. That's part of Pokemon lore. Uh, so so <laughs> Ty, so we, like we have we have some music recommendations. We have some music recommendations oh, for Honey the, Bear. What's the uh... first of all? There's Jungle Boogie with an I. Um, gummy, gu- the Gummy Bears theme by Acapella. Okay. I wouldn't mind a metal. Oh, version. I'm sorry, Sean. That is a broken skull joke. Aww. Oh, Aww. I felt really no. bad. I actually, I actually went up to Sean. Uh, if we were gonna make a broken skull joke, it'd be much more eloquent than that. <laughs> I felt so bad. So I was um, getting feedback from my match w- at Rise with me and Keith versus uh, Grindhouse Noir, mm-hmm. and um, I, I basically did like a shitty spear, and I was like, yeah, I was just really afraid of like rolling too hard with. Uh, uh, noir and uh, pulling a Sean Phoenix, and I literally, I it just like came out of my mouth like, like I I didn't even like I wasn't even aware of it, and I immediately like went to find Sean. I was like, okay, I said something, and I really <laughs> just want to tell you, I want to be the one to tell you and not someone else. I don't want you to think like I was joking about it because I was like actually really messed up when when Sean got hurt. Like I was in the hospital and mm-hmm. like the doctor, like he's like recanting everything, and me and his mom are sitting there like crying. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> And he's like, why are you crying? I was like, I'm not. I'm frustrated. <laughs> There's a lot of chemicals in here, and it's messing with my contacts. Oh, boy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Elimination Chamber. Tag with Team Wrestling. Wine. Tag Team Wrestling. Oh, yeah, it's not Tag Team Wrestling. Quit calling it Tag, tag Team Wrestling. Tag-ish Wrestling. Well, you're right. There, it, it won't a single, there won't be a tag in that single in that match at all. No, there That's won't. true. There won't. One tag. That's true. No, no the just, tag is the light. Just a bunch of ladies sharing pods. The the tag is the light. The light tags the new the, team in. That's that it. Mike, after all after all of our argument, that's where you're stretching that. Uh hey, now this uh, is where okay, you're gonna defend on. WWE, right? Yeah, here, this huh? is the, there you go. It comes back around. <laughs> it's canon. We have had a spotlight as a tag team partner before. He's not wrong. <laughs> He's not wrong. There was we that have one had time. a spotlight as a tag yes, team that partner. One time, one, that one time God came to the ring. Yeah. Um. Yep. Yeah, that is true. 
<laughs> look it up on the network. That must have been. He long. lost, right? Can you just look up God on the network? God that lost, right? Up? He's zero and one. Uh, yes, I think he's zero and one. Yeah, yeah God's zero. Oh, yeah, is this a real yeah, life? God's zero one. You haven't seen this? Was that the late two thousands? Mm-hmm. It was happen? no, it was yeah, mid. It was mid-2000s. the mid two thousands. Mid two thousands. It's a dark uh, time. Oh, geez, I hate. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. All right, there's a lot of us checked out. It was Vince and Shane against Shawn Michaels and God, and the lead up to it even included oh this reaction. This reaction um, and on, the lead up, on, the lead up, the, oh no, the lead up to it included. I want to keep it on her reaction. Uh, they were in a church, and yeah. uh, at one point, Vince um, took the holy water. You know that that's in the thing <laughs> yes. when you walk in, and did a Triple H impression. No, to it a mortified it also bubbled. Huh? It also bubbled. It, he also bubbled it. Yeah, he like gargled it, right? Yeah. No, no. When he touched it, it bubbled. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah. And Shane's like he's mortified through the whole thing, right? Yeah, like, yeah. He's, he's just, just like, like what oh, the hell? Is that going match on? should have we ended with the lighting this. rig spontaneously falling falling on Vince. That's how that well, should have ended. A couple years <laughs> later, they did have a rig fall on him during Mega Millions, and well, I think maybe that, that was, was like a delayed payback. On that yeah, thing, yeah, exactly. You know, God's revenge. God books it, but God books in wrestling in mysterious ways, guys. To be fair, God doesn't put anyone over since Moses. God's got to get his heat back. (laughs) (laughs) Damn it, I need to go to church. No, you don't. Oh, boy. Just go to Poppy's church, Sork. Oh, my God. (laughs) Oh, don't get it started. (laughs) Don't get it started. Hi, Poppy. (laughs) Hi, Poppy. We know you listen. Um... Tag team wrestling. Tag team wrestling. (laughs) Women in tag team wrestling in a cage. Girls. Girls. In a cage. Women. Yeah. In a cage. Is it really a cage match? I, I'm honestly it's behind elimination the WWE. Cha- elimination chamber it is an, it is elimination match. Chamber Wait, it's a match. tag match. In an elimination chamber. It is it is not a tag team match. They are it putting is a, two women in each pod. It is it is in the elimination six, chamber. <laughs> six teams of women competing for tag team titles. But it will not be a tag team match. It's an elimination chamber match, except there's teams. Oh to be God fair. Fucking damn it, Vince. <laughs> To be fair, uh, tag teams have done an elimination chamber, so this, as a concept, mm-hmm. is not new. That's oh. true. And it was a uh, year last year, year before, I think they did this, and uh, and it was for the, t- the championship, but it was not for the inaugural championship, mm-hmm. right? I think it's a cool idea for the yeah. inaugural championship. Do you? I do. Personally, I do because it highlights all of the established tag teams that we do have in WWE and Naomi and Carmella. <laughs> <laughs> ain't lying <laughs> no i mean i'm serious oh yeah i know that's great i love it <laughs> partner accurate says, statement partner says that right now badger is all of us trying to find any logic and finding none <laughs> i, mean, I whatever, was i man. was told not to look for logic in WWE booking that was a corporate. Uh, Is that memo, in the handbook? Right? <laughs> I, no, what will you fuckers tell me? <laughs> memo. This is, this is why I only tune in for WrestleMania and Royal Rumble, it's, and sometimes okay. SummerSlam. Sometimes. 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 Yeah. Um. Well, you got AEW else coming up though. To check out. <laughs> so. <laughs> anyways. So that's happening. I don't know. It. I, it this is. I a, really hope the Iconics win. This will. Well, there's his pick. Right there. Who was saying, talking about being a third member of the Iconics? Was that in the chat room? Uh, Zelina Vega Zelina. is the unofficial third member. Is the, of the unofficial Iconics. third member. By the way, yeah, I got, they're called the Triconics. The Triconics. <laughs> uh, by the way, I watched. I watched. Um, uh, this is for you, Matt. Um, I watched. Um, um, uh, Macho Mania for the first time in a while because I really needed something for the commercial breaks on Raw, and uh, and and they got to that. Iconics interview that you love. <laughs> you know, what did you go to journalism for that or whatever the line I can't was? Even what you I said, think that's what it was. So I mean, yeah, this is close. The line is you go to journalism for that. Unmarked, they just played the entire segment. It's great. In Botchamania. Like there's no no commentary, no pauses, no repeats, just we're just gonna play this minute segment. Rip it from WB's website and put it in there. It's just it's at it's right after them they were in the rumble. And it's just Billy Kay ranting like a crazy person while Peyton Royce and I think it's uh, Charlie mm-hmm. are doing yeah, the yeah. interview. No, it's well, not they, Charlie. Isn't it? Or, Kathy it's Kelly? not Charlie. Kathy Kelly, yeah. It's um, Kathy, Kelly. Kathy Kelly. Kathy Kelly. Um, and uh, just trying and failing to keep a straight face while BK just rages. You gotta be choking! Like something like that at the end. It's 
I can't even recreate it. It's so funny. Yeah, it's great. Track we, this down. I know we talked a lot about it previously. I still, I, I sometimes I just bring up that interview at work and just listen to it. When you, when you're having a bad day, yeah, you, just need you a go couple, to journalism for that. You go to journalism for that. You just need a couple. Guess what, Sorg? I'm gonna write. That I down. was a journalism. You were a journalism. I was a journalism in I college. Thought you, I was. I thought you were. You were a chemicism. I I was both. Oh, believe okay. Believe it or not, that's I was the editor in chief of my school newspaper. Damn it! I was a journalism. That's why he does so good at this job here on this show. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's a matter of opinion that I don't think many share. But all right. No, no. But anyways, <laughs> um, wow. So I don't even know what. There's another chamber match. There's oh um, uh, oh oh, Kofi. Uh, Kofi. Kofi for world champion. Wait, please. what? Wait, is this happening? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Kofi's is in the push? chamber. Oh, yeah. Um, oh. Mustafa Ali's Kofi's hurt. in the chamber, and Seriously? he had a 60 yeah. minute Iron Man showing in that gauntlet match. He actually hurt. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. Hurt enough. Kofi, Kofi replaced Mustafa Ali, which, while tragic, Kofi for champion. Please, Kofi for champion. Slide that under somebody's office door. There you go. <laughs> I, I would paper it from the rooftops if I could. Please make what? a video of Every you time like it's... sliding a crude like little kid letter like Kofi four the number four <laughs> champion mm-hmm. and sliding mm-hmm. it under under someone. I don't care. Stuff. I don't care if you film that just on ho- at home with your own door because we'll just believe it's somebody. <laughs> yeah, I'll make it out store. of Legos. Yeah, to make it out of Legos. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Here's something I don't understand. Someone's Every style. time there's like that situation where they've got to pick one member of the new day to be in like this ladder match or this number one contender match. They always pick Kofi, and I'm sitting here um, like, when's it Big Matt, E's that's time? Because, that's because you, know? you don't listen to a lot of New Day interviews. <laughs> when's it time for Big E? I just no, no. There, no. There's an actual reason for this. Hmm. It's and, and this this is not a joke. This is not a joke at all. Um, like if you listen to New Day interviews about the Rumble and things like that, where it's every man for himself, Xavier and Big E will always defer to Kofi because to them they look up to Kofi. He's the old like, man. Go, go, he's the old man. They call him Pops. Yep. They're like, Kofi Kingston is the most underrated wrestler in WWE right. and has never gotten a true run. Mm-hmm. And that, like, legitimately, like, I I know they say this in character, but I know they mean it in person as well. Like, they say it on Up, Up, Down, Down all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. that Kofi never got a true run and he deserves it. So I think if it came down to, like, the New Day as the final three members of final three people in the Royal Rumble, Woods and Big E would eliminate themselves. Wow, yeah. Mm -hmm. And no, Cars, Kofi was never a former world champion, never even got the ECWWE title. No, 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 because I think it was still Jamaican then. Uh, Yeah. Yes. but It was Jafakin. He's never even had a match for it, has he? Uh, yeah, I think with Randy Orton. Was that over the title? No, they never. They never. He he had had a match with Lesnar in Japan. Ah, oh, uh, the title? Did Brock have the title? No, that wasn't when Lesnar was champion. Oh, oh, that was just that was just Lesnar wanted to wrestle Kofi. Hmm. Here's here's a question. Well, it should say something. Realistically, that should say something about Kofi. He has Oscar on this card. Uh, no, Oscar is not on the card. Wow, what's wow. happening here? How, well, how? no, but and this is. <sighs> We're going to get into Charlotte. Oh, no, no, We're going to no, get into no, it. Come no, on, no, let's go. No, let's get no, those no, cards no, on the no, table, no, baby. We got to get the Mayhem right. Mania. We got it's into it's this last night. Thing. There is no one for Asuka to wrestle because six women from SmackDown are tied up in the chamber match and two women from SmackDown are tied up in the Raw title suit. That's why there's no one for Asuka to wrestle. Who's she going to wrestle? Lana? No. Right. Lana, in storyline, has a bum ankle. Who do you think Asuka is going to end up paired with at Mania? Who the fuck knows? I don't know. I still Lacey believe, Evans, Lacey honestly, Evans. that'd be good. I still believe it's Charlotte. Didn't they uh, Mandy, recently wrong, so sign a uh, Io? Io, mm-hmm. yeah, Io. Io. She's a uh, tag tag team with. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, Say her and Kari Asuka Sam. would be just give them the belt. Yeah, well, I know. Well, yeah, well I mean, her and Kyrie are like awesome. No, yeah, they are awesome. awesome but... They yeah. should they should be in the elimination chamber match. Mm-hmm. With Sky Pirates, yeah. yes. Yeah, I forgot. They're doing I, I'd like to see Oscar versus Nikki Cross at WrestleMania. That's Ooh. what I'd like to see. They had a killer last woman standing match on NXT. They did. Yeah, I'd love to see them tear it up on WrestleMania. Yeah, that like, would be a good be like great. round two. 
Yeah, absolutely. And you can and they can play off their past history in NXT, but they never do that on the main roster for whatever unknown reason. NXT never happened. That's right. Well, too. It's off canon. And it needs to work. Speaking of things that are off canon, Mayhem Media coming, uh, Mania coming up, and uh, well, it's Mayhem Mania c- canon, lore if you will. Lore, it's lore, Sorg. <laughs> well, in the meantime, how do we feel up for this with the uh, uh, our friends that are supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza? Our friends at Slice on Broadway, right here up the street. If you ever visited us, maybe when we get that, you know, if we do get, if we do end up with Mayhem Kong, you know, it's going to be catered by our friends at Slice on Broadway. Yes. Yes. Uh, that's yes. definitely happening. Go check them out if you're in town here, right here in Beachview, the OG, the original, um, right up the street from our studio, as well as PNC Park, Cumberland's Pittsburgh Pirates, Carnegie PA, on the way to the airport and over on the East End. You know, if you're visiting Google or something, uh, go check them out, sliceonbroadway.com, and our unofficial campaign for our friends at Slice on Broadway to help them with their global expansion. If you got a Broadway in your town, take a picture, tweet them, PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter, and let them know you want a Slice on your Broadway. And uh, we'll help them with that. So go check them out, SliceOnBroadway.com. And, of course, uh, so much more coming up on the Mayhem Show, including Mayhem Mania. Oh, yeah. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Well, I mean, I mean, Sorg, I mean, I could start whenever you're ready because, you know, I know all the rules. You know, I just studied the rules just a second ago and there's like a volume. It's like we're up to 600 pages for the rulebook for Mayhem Mania. Did you guys know that? 600 pages rulebook Mayhem Mania. Welcome back to the Mayhem Show. Um, I'm your pal uh, here in the mainstream media. Uh, we're going to be playing Mayhem Mania here in a little bit with our cast of thousands. I'm here with uh, Sorgatron's over there running the uh, ones and twos, and Larry's here. So on the table, special guest, Honey Badger. Are you ready to play Mayhem Mania, Honey Badger? Apparently. Okay, I'm going to explain to you how we play this game. Um, it's kind of a competitive thought experiment. We are trying to create the greatest WrestleMania card of all time, but we have to do it within the confines of the current reality in which we all live. So everyone that we're using are coming in their current physical, emotional, and contractual state. So in essence, um, you are Vince McMahon with unlimited resources and zero self-control. And this is the year we're not going to hold back. We're going to make the best WrestleMania card ever. Does that okay. make sense? So you guys are doing like a and d thing with wrestling. Okay. <laughs> if the, whatever you need to tell yourself to help it make sense, do that. Anyway, um... Got a few uh, friendships have notes been, here. Friendships have been lost over Sometimes this. we get now it, it, it's gonna be fine. Don't worry. We won't yell at anybody. Um we're gonna bring our um players on here in a little bit. Um but first I got a couple housekeeping things to uh, go over here, Sork. Okay. Um first of all, you're gonna be able to make a single everyone we're gonna have five players. I'm sorry, I I got a little sidetracked there. Oh uh, we're gonna have five players, they're all gonna make one change to this card. So we can get like Swap one person here up to here, like one for one, or you could swap one person out, bring one person in, or like work in units. If you want to take one person out, bring in a tag team, you can do that. Or if you want to just get rid of one match entirely, bring in another match with all new people, you can do that too. Subtract is not typically a move that we allow, but um, we're going to allow, we're going to bring in what we do this every year, the one-time use only subtract option it's subtract on a piece of paper yes on the board so, so well it helps me keep track yes, so yes there's there's a lot of visuals to this if anyone wants to remove a person from an existing match you can use the subtract option but be advised you can only use it one time and that's gone forever for the rest of mayhem mania so be advised on that one also i should tell you that there are some people some names that um you're not allowed to use because over the course of uh, this little game, we give out these things called eliminators, and it allows the person who earns an eliminator to eliminate a person from being used at all in Mayhem Mania. So uh, we have the list of people who have been eliminated, and we have a new name that's just been added too. So the list of people who cannot be used are Ric Flair, Jeff Jarrett, Drake Maverick, Brock Lesnar, and just added, thanks to Brandon, used his eliminator just texted me earlier today brandon has eliminated 
Uh, you could turn on the chat room for this one, Sork. Brandon has eliminated John Cena. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. No. Yeah. Yes. Um, there's a couple more eliminators still floating out there. Dave Podner still has an eliminator. Bobby F. J. Town still has an eliminator. So if they want to use it at any time, you can't eliminate someone who's currently on the card. You have to wait until they're off the card, and then you can strike like a jungle cat. Um, so this uh, week's players are going to be Garza, Bobby, Tina, Alex Cars, and Honey Badger will back clean up in that order. So Garza, you are on deck, and now I will go over the card for everyone, for those listening at home or perhaps working with a poor internet feed and can't see what we're dealing with here. Here are the matches. Ricochet versus Tyler Bate versus Cesaro versus Dean Ambrose, created by Dave Podner. Elias versus Velveteen Dream, created by Sorg. EC3 versus Triple H, created by The Riz. Becky Lynch versus Rhea Ripley, created by Larry. Mustafa Ali versus DJ Z, created by Alex Cars. Now, I know Mustafa Ali is hurt. He's out of the elimination chamber. But from everything I've read, this is not a long-term injury, and he should be okay in time for WrestleMania. So we're going to let Mustafa Ali stay for now. Um, Chelsea Green versus Nikki Cross, created by Brandon. Drew McIntyre versus Walter, all caps, versus Samoa Joe, created by Ty Cross, with a Y. And finally, <clears throat> Seth Rollins versus Charlotte, created by... Marcus Mann. What a genius. Um, Garza, you know how the game is played. You're up. Yep. And Bobby's on deck. Garza, how are you? I should tell everyone, firstly, uh, the graphics that you're seeing on your screen are created by Antonio Garza. He is a mad genius. These things are amazing. Bravo, Bravo Garza. They are badass. And also, our cheap whiteboard is created by Dark Forge Studios. So... Uh, we thank all of our many sponsors for helping By the us way, out. sweet podcast mic setup you got it going on over there. Thank you. No, not you, him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> man, Garza, that is, that is badass, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I'm i looking at the card right now. Um, I really don't care if Mustafa Ali can or not make it to WrestleMania because he's ah. out of the card right now. Get that match out of here. The whole it was thing. one week away from. But Super I wore the shirt. Card. All right. And I got to pick a new match to get rid of. To make sure that all the cars that are gonna out, that are gonna make it to the supercar are getting eliminated today. <laughs> <laughs> the That's why we call them the cleaner, folks. Gotta make sure Robocop versus Kushida's <laughs> don't make it to the card. Whoa. You are you are <laughs> up on your lore. Make that graphic. <laughs> no, because there's there's still no uh, good visuals of Kushida or Robocop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what if it was Robocop Kushida and as Robocop? <laughs> Robo Robocop has a ton of PSDs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we are replacing me. Ali versus DJ C and <laughs> I have two matches here. I think I'm going to go with the one that makes less sense. And that would be <laughs> the easier graphic to make. Is that what you're going to go with? Yeah, you kind of have to. Yeah, yeah. Let's do Chad Gable versus Kurt Angle. All right. Ooh, oh, that's hmm, the one that makes less one. sense. Oh, yeah, the other one made more sense. Not I want to know what the one that makes more sense is. Not his son, though. Garza, they, thank they, you very much. Fight for, for the love of Jason Jordan. There you go. I like it. <laughs> Jason Jordan. going to bring that <laughs> yeah, dip in Jason later. Jordan. Jason Jordan on the pole match. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I'll Hold on to that for, for uh, Patreon in the, in the Bank. bank. When yeah. we do the stip store in Patreon in the Bank, uh, Honey Badger, I'm sure you're very familiar with that. Um, okay, Bobby, you're up. Tina's on deck. Thanks, Garza. Bobby, do you want to use your eliminator? Bobby, Bobby, sleeping? are you with us? Huh? Bobby, yeah, I'm, I'm Earth thinking. Bobby. Okay, you think? Uh, no, not right now. I'm saving that in my back pocket. Great. Oh All wait right. a minute. Uh -oh. uh oh. Oh wait a minute. No, I'm not going to save it in my back pocket. Uh oh. Let me see the board again. Who? Oh, no. oh, yeah. uh, he's not Bob. on there. Oh, he's Bobby, I think I, I think I was he had, doing. He had ten minutes. 
of or 10 mm -hmm. seconds of time on SmackDown tonight. He paused his video game, walked out of his bus, RKO'd somebody, walked back and play, started playing GTA again. Oh, <laughs> Randy Orton has been eliminated. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Eliminator out of nowhere, guys. We're gonna have a, a ten seconds on the show tonight. We're gonna have a WrestleMania without John Cena, Randy Orton, and Brock Lesnar. Good. We're already we got the OVW dream like, class, class on the Eliminators right now. So show, show title Shelton's Eliminator. Next. Out of nowhere. next. <laughs> there you go. Well, right, now I gotta now I gotta concentrate. Thanks, on Bobby. Uh, all right, Bobby. Uh, you still have to make all a right. move. I have two matches that I'm thinking of. Well, you can only use one. I know. I hope the one that makes for less now, sense. One that makes less sense and is the more difficult graphic for Garza to make. Yes. Would be ideal. Yeah. <laughs> Robocop versus Chucky. <laughs> Robo Robocop versus the Kiss Demon. <laughs> versus Drew. Which uh, Kiss no, Demon? Um, you have to I think Kiss Demon. Dale, Dale Torbjorn from Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Take off uh, the Ricochet, Bait, Cesaro, and Ambrose match. Oh. Oh. Dude, it's going Someone away match? Oh, Thank you. I'm done. sorry. Um, sorry, Potter. We'll put him on sorry, Sunday Potter. Night Heat. Sunday See ya. Night. <laughs> Happy trails, Potna. <laughs> Bobby, you should apologize to your wrestling mom. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jen. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> mom. <laughs> your wrestling mom? Is that really what's happening now? Uh, Stuart, you missed the whole conversation when we were. Yeah, J Matt and Jen are, are risen eyes wrestling parents. <laughs> Thinking that was going to be the one this I was going to reveal. I don't know if oh, that math adds up. That's the case. I am a proud this is wrestling canon parent. Because they, they adopted us and took us to NXT one night. My two <laughs> boys. <laughs> Hold and on. we took does, care of you when you threw up on that tree. Okay, <laughs> because they took me to possible, yeah. It's possible. <laughs> you did throw up on a tree. Yeah. Um. Oh. All right. Uh, based on a conversation you guys had earlier tonight. Uh oh. <laughs> we're gonna have a six woman tag match. Yes. Oh man. <laughs> I'm, sorry. Wait, I'm, glad so, I'm glad someone I'm sorry, Garza. said out loud. It's going to be the Triconics. Oh no! <laughs> Selena Vega. Uh, Just put Triconics. Yeah, and tri Peyton Royce. That's not canon. Is the Tri Pirates? What? <laughs> oh, what? Is um, are you writing fan fiction over there? Iro, 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 Kyrie Sane, and Oscar. Yes. That is awesome. Bobby, I love uh, it. That, that's my mind. Wow. International Bobby, incident Bobby, here. I mean, <laughs> I, mean, I make this promise to you. The next time on Mayhem Mania, if that match is not on the card, I'm putting it back on. <laughs> Jeez. New dream yes, match. No one more stubbornly pursues matches for the Iconics than Bobby. He will have this. One of these tag stables doesn't have me. a finisher called the tripod. I'm going to be very, very disappointed. The tripod? Good no. job, Bobby. That's You've done a, well. A finisher yeah. named the tripod. Thanks, hey, Bobby. Hey, Matt, you've got to be joking me. Hey, you got to be joking me. Uh, Bobby, as your wrestling dad, I want to say I'm proud of you, son. Um, Thank you, Dad. <laughs> Tina, you're up. <laughs> Cars is on deck. Uh, oh, so yeah. my cat, feel my legs, Paul. My cat knocked over my junkyard dog. <laughs> <laughs> that seems on brand. <laughs> Clean up your room. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, Tina, <laughs> Tina, <Try> pirates. <laughs> Hello, Tina. Did she go? Home? Yeah, she's there. She's just Tina. Can you hear me she's, through the 18 feet of snow? Stuff. She's crying. How much snow <laughs> is on the ground? Yes, I can hear you just fine. How uh, much snow is on the ground in Washington State? Uh, give or take about maybe a little bit under a foot. Wow. All of it. Oh, that's All nice. of the snow. We're used to getting that much, but wow. <laughs> yeah. All right, Tina, what you got in mind here? We had ice today, though. Um, let's see. Well, uh... Let's go ahead and take out EC3 versus Triple H. The whole thing? Yes. Whoa. Yes, the whole thing. Yes. Whoa. Why does EC3... Okay, never mind. We'll get the triple-double <laughs> match. You. Thank you, Tina. <laughs> they didn't want to see that match. I guess Bobby kind of beat me to it by oh, having, a, having a champion on there, but I guess I'll go ahead and add another one. Good idea. Uh, let's go ahead and add Shayna Baszler. Ooh. Ooh. 
I like it already. Uh oh. Versus Miko Satamora. Whoa! Oh, I like it. Okay, Tina Go. came to play, y'all. That <laughs> came to play. God damn it. You got that spelling down? <laughs> what are you doing over there? there? There's a you. <laughs> Matt, Matt, do you need, Matt, do you need the spelling? What is that? Wait, what was that? Hold on, hold on. Matt, do you need S? the spelling? I just, like this. I don't, there's just some extra... Question. Mark. Speak question mark. Hey, Matt, that means Matt. I don't know. What? Matt. M e i k o s a t o m u r a. S a t o. I may have had to type it a few times. M o r a. I was one letter off. I almost won the spelling bee. We should do uh, wrestler spelling bee for. Her. <laughs> How do you oh, spell Claudio Castagnoli? <laughs> <laughs> I'll crush all of you in a wrestling spelling bee. <laughs> Let me tell you. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, Mike's gonna be the ringer on that one. Yeah, nice. All right, good job, Tina. Organized it. He's the official. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bring, be, uh, I'll organize the wrestling spelling bee. That's, be what, that's what we'll do in the offseason after uh, Mayhem Mania. Sounds good. <laughs> uh, we're gonna bring Alex Carter in, in a moment here, Sorg. But first, I wanted to let you know that uh, you know pro wrestling is a wild and crazy art form. I hear that. And uh, Occupy Pro Wrestling is here to look at what makes it fun, featuring articles, blogs, and a podcast that brings you interviews with fellow fans. Occupy Pro Wrestling, putting the smart back in smart mark. Check it at OccupyProWrestling.com. Speak of the devil, the man behind it, Alex Cars, is up next. Honey Badger, you're on deck. What's up, Alex? Bob, hold on. Hold on. Matt? We have an eliminator usage in the chat room. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, no. oh, man. Someone pounced. Oh, Thanks for keeping an eye Dave on Potter, Dave Potter in the chat room says, <laughs> Matt, Matt, I want to use my second eliminator. Triple H is triple gone. Oh, oh man. Oh. Is the main. All right. we, we've lost evolution except for the <laughs> Oh, this is great. This is going to be a good mania, guys. Oh, man. What a mess. Anybody have one that want to use them on Batista? Sorry, we are out of... Uh, Eliminators That's right it. now. They've all been spent. But good Real. news, I'll have uh, something to say about that if we get the end of this round. So let's uh get uh, get through the rest of our players here. Alex. What up? Alex, are you there? How much snow is there where you are, Alex? Well LA. <laughs> I just first of all, Matt. Yeah. Mr. Carlins. Yeah. I appreciate the the ad break. It doesn't make up for what you did to me. What did but I, do I appreciate you? it? <laughs> We have rules, Alex. You can't just do whatever the hell you want. (laughs) (laughs) He was playing by your rules. I I was. That man was not signed anywhere. (laughs) (laughs) So, Did you want to have your Hardy's breakfast served to you and then ripped away before you could take a bite? No, you didn't. That would not be fun. So that would not be a nice day. I like Arby's. What's wrong so, with Arby's? No, Hardy's. 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 Oh, Hardy's. Oh, Hardy's. We're, we're we're long, I'm sorry. Now we're doing inside jokes this. upon inside you know, jokes. We don't have Arby's. Um, okay. <laughs> Alex, right, let's go to work. Here's, here's, stay away right, from so the regionals. So here's what I'm going to do. All right. Because I can't book Kenny Omega on Mayhem Mania. <laughs> <laughs> Spending my still out there. And because. I'm worried about where this is going. Tony Garza decided to take away Mustafa Ali versus DJ Z. So we would have graduated to the supercard. I think it's only appropriate for the namesake of the Alice Cars rule mm-hmm. to open the, the gates up for it. So the Open the dragon thing, gate. All right, go ahead. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm sure Chad Gable versus Kurt Angle. That sounds like a great wrestling clinic. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not happening at oh. Mayhem oh. Mania. You killed it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Calm down. Garza, Garza, what you doing no. next Tuesday? <laughs> so we're just going to drop that, first of all. Okay. Second of all, it, when we talk about wrestling clinics with an eye, there's only two <laughs> men that I can think of that need to go in here. Oh God! This is bad. This is gonna be so bad. Oh my gosh! So, in its place is gonna be Zach Ryder with a Y <laughs> and an H, and an H. versus Noah right. Jose with a Y. 
Oh, boy. What? Some Mrs. people just oh, want to watch boy. the They do! They do! <laughs> uh, Proud of you, Alex. What? <laughs> oh, boy. Alex, what? I think you just booked the main event before WrestleMania. Darz is going to do this graphic in, like, crayons. I guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be, like, two stick figures. <laughs> Darz, make sure you misspell Zack Ryder's name on, on both his first and last name. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Made maniacs. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, made maniacs. Access, you're right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, okay, like Alex, thank you very access. much. I already know that we're going too long. Uh, hi, uh, Honey Badger. Hi. Uh, you you kind of get an idea how this works? No, but okay. it's okay. Great. Um, just look at I, the no, card. I I so you can see just... something that you think is missing. See something that you think is just wrong and make it right. You know oh, I, mean? I have to take one off? You don't have to. Well, you do have to uh, take something off to put something in. Or add a to. A full match or replace a person. Well, yeah, why don't, why don't I get cross. my name on there? How come I don't have I'm a I'm going to write your name on there once you uh, make your match. Oh, okay. You should be prepared if you're going to host this thing. But I'm just going to say. Uh, Whoa. The marker right here. Jeez. <laughs> Hot take. I'm that. already scared of you. Whoa. Uh, I'm going to go with. Okay. Uh, uh, War Raiders with Sarah Logan. Mm-hmm. Versus... We got to decide what we're going to get rid of, too. So, Oh, I have to get rid of... I thought you, you just said I didn't have to get rid of anything. Oh, sorry. I, I misled you. You got to get rid of something. Oh, fuck. But I like where this is going. I don't. Shh. Um, here, I'll take this off for, for this sake. So I'm going to get rid of Chelsea versus Nikki. Okay. So I'm going to do uh, War Raiders with Sarah Logan uh, versus... Uh, Sanity with uh, Eric Young, Nikki, and which one do I want? Yep. Hold on. I have to Google it because I only stalk Nikki to see um, what version of Honey Badger she's doing. <laughs> uh oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, who are the other members of the the same? Uh, uh, you think Alexander, Alexander Wolf? Who's her? Oh, Killian. Killian Day. Yeah, yeah Killian. Yeah, he's her fun. Real life husband now. Yeah. Which is hysterical I to think don't about. I think that's a legal move. Why? Because. <gasps> oh, you're right. Nick- that's not a legal move. You can't put Nikki Cross into this match because she was already in the match. Okay. I'm struggling with this it's about Nikki as Bella. much as I do with D and D. You could just use the three guys. Oh, Sanity and Nikki oh Bella. Oh my god. Whoever oh. said that, you need to just excuse yourself from life. <laughs> just leave. <laughs> You're excused. You are no Dang. longer needed. Uh that would be funny to watch. Will you so. accept the free bella? Uh how about no, I will not. I will not accept da- Daniel Bryan's not used to. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I think even if you use the three oh, guys shit. and Sandy, I think the War Raiders and Sarah Logan would take. I'm going to, what was the other one I had? Do they have to be like, they, they just have to not be like injured, right? That's yeah. right. Where okay. I? Then I'll do, instead of Sanity, I'll do uh, Bray Wyatt mm-hmm. with uh, Strowman and... Jojo? Jojo? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she had wrestled before. Fuck, right. I had a couple and she now I can't. Few. She's undefeated, actually. Yeah. It's actually, yeah. She's undefeated. <laughs> uh, is Raya already up there? Raya? How the fuck you say her name? Yeah. Yeah, Ripley. Right fuck. Okay, just do, uh, just do Sanity with the We've three guys. Them. I don't care. Yes! I love it. <laughs> oh, intergender. I'm, I'm, intergender. I'm, I'm tired. I can't focus. I this is like playing Kingdom Hearts where I'm like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm just going to try to keep going. I don't know who any of these people are. I really appreciate you didn't say Bray Wyatt in a drag. <laughs> <laughs> just no. Bray oh, and oh, oh, Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt oh. as... Bray so Wyatt as... Uh, Husky Harris. You could have put Bo no. Dallas in there yes. in a dress if you wanted oh, to. As, uh, you had a lot. Of, oh, what's her face? <laughs> Sister, Sister, Sister Abigail. Abigail. Yeah, Sister Abigail. Abigail. Okay. Oh, boy. Um, that's okay. This match is awesome. I, I approve. Um, all right. Let's run down this card real quick. The Triconics versus Kyrie Sane, Io Shirai, and Asuka. Great by Bobby. That, 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 tri- the Tri-Pirates. Tri- 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 Tri-Pirates. The Tri-Pirates. No, tri-pirates. Tri-pirates. Yes. I like ours. Tri-pirates. 
Elias versus Velveteen Dream, created by Sorg. Shayna Baszler versus Miko Sanamora, created by Tina. Becky Lynch versus Rhea Ripley, created by Larry. Uh, Zack Ryder versus No Way Jose, created by Alex <laughs> Cars. The War Raiders and Sarah Logan versus Sanity, the guys, created by <laughs> Honey Badger. <laughs> he wrote the, the boys. The boys is written on the board. I, I, no, I is it the boys? Like I was to say, if Sanity starts getting okay, carried okay, out to the, the b- 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 boys. boys. Um, Drew McIntyre versus Walter versus Samoa Joe, created by Ty Cross. And Seth Rollins versus Char Char, created by Marcus Mann. Uh, real quick, Sorgi. <clears throat> this week, we're going to play the Elimination Chamber Challenge. Mm-hmm. To win an Eliminator, all you got to do... Make an email, send it to mayhemmania at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Tell us who's going to win the World Championship Elimination Chamber match. That's the one for the wooden belt held by Daniel Bryan. The wooden belt. Tell us who's going to win. The tiebreaker is total time of the Elimination Chamber match without going over. So send us the winner of the WWE Championship match and total time, and we will award one eliminator. Send your answer to Mayhem Mania at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Much more coming up on Talking Mayhem Mania on your Wrestling Mayhem Show YouTube channel. We have a graduated match. I'll tell you what it is. Sorgi, back to you. That <laughs> is, is that right. For, is that the total time of the Elimination Chamber match? Correct. Oh, man. Daniel okay. Bryan versus sense. Matt Riddle and the winner gets to smoke the belt would be a good... Oh, put that in your pocket for Mayhem Mania weeks to come, guys. Come back and do another. All right. Well, hey, you know, Mayhem Mania has a lot of history. (laughs) And as you know, those that do not learn history are doomed to repeat it, much like many of us here tonight at Mayhem Mania. Uh, But, you know, who's helping you with the rest of history that doesn't have to do with wrestling and games we play here on mayhem mania for the last five years uh that's our front our friend over at professor buzzkill.com uh the, like i said thankfully professor buzzkill does make learning history entertaining and humorous through his blog and podcast you can sport over there uh, follow professor buzzkill on the twitter and hit up professor buzzkill.com look for the uh, subscribe to the YouTube page. Subscribe to the podcast. A lot of great stuff. I know Dave Potter in the chat has been listening to it and uh, gives it high marks to listen to. Nice bite-sized things, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, so go check it out. Uh, and Professor Buzzkill actually has a, a professed interest to be on this show to talk to us about wrestling history in the near future. So we're going to try to get that sorted out and get him on as well. Go check it out, our friend in the podcast world, at ProfessorBuzzKill.com. All right. End of the show. We got everybody in here, so please keep it as brief as possible. We do have a lot of you guys in here. What did you learn from professional wrestling this week? Do we have any takers right off the bat? No? I learned. Uh Uh-oh. I learned the Switchblade is going to main event Madison Square Garden. Whoa! So he won. Because he beat Tanahashi. He got the IWGP title. Okay. And uh, he's going to defend it. When they uh, have their show at MSG, and he's going to face the winner of the, um, what's the tournament called? Uh, the New Japan Cup, I believe. Wow. So we shall see. Jay White. Switchblade. From, from just, uh, I was, it was like we were po- pointing out, uh, because he was at uh, Super Indy a few years ago. Yeah. And now he's main event in MSG, I baby. So he's the youngest heavyweight champion they've had. Really? Nothing but, nothing but up for him. Mm-hmm. Uh, Badger, what'd you learn? Oh, I thought you looked like you were ready to go. Oh, no. I just, um, I don't know. I didn't really learn anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll come back to you. Okay. Uh, Mad Mike, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, I learned two things. One, I learned that WWE somehow figured out what the opposite of a Marvel after credit scene is. <laughs> and I also learned via my lovely girlfriend that Ricochet has a small butt. Okay. From it like, was just an observation made during the NXT house show. I was going to say, is this from like experience? Because I might be concerned. No, uh, just, just, just an observation. Just huh. guys in tights. <laughs> yeah. uh, Garza, yeah. what did you learn from wrestling this week? Follow that up. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Uh, I guess I learned that uh, sometimes you don't even need to have a show to sell out 
the stadium. <laughs> Arena. <laughs> Facts. I don't know, man. <laughs> Hot takes. Hot takes. No, Tina, I don't think the internet can handle the steam off that take. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, Tina, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, let's see. Uh, that that I'm going to have to pay inflated prices for double or nothing here shortly. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> uh, hey, yeah, it is. It is closer to you this time, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> you should just tweet one of them say, hey, I couldn't get in on the sale. What's going on? Maybe they'll send you tickets. <laughs> you never know. You I never will know. play the mom card if I have to. Yeah, oh, you go. Totally play the mom card. Just don't mention this podcast because then they'll hear the master plan. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and we don't want you to get you blocked by AEW. We don't need to start that trend. <laughs> Mike. That'll be like the third like wrestling personality slash company that has blocked me. So. Wait, 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 wait. What's your list look like? Uh, let's see, JBL, oh. Enzo, and Josh Matthews. I think. Oh, so that's nice. a trifecta. Man, pretty good. I love. <laughs> pretty good. It's a Bermuda Triangle of douchey. That's, right. that's a real nice oh, trio man. right there. I love all of your blog by Josh. That's Matthews. like the weirdest Pokemon evolution. And wow, <laughs> yeah, Josh Matthews to Enzo to. <laughs> JBL. That's the weirdest JBL. part. Like every time they have to evolve by a douche stone. Oh. <laughs> There's a visual for you. Oh boy. Yep. Not working with impact again. Okay, I got it. Um <laughs> it's the fun. views of Mad Mike no longer express the views of Sorgatron. No. And Sorgatron absolutely media. not. Never absolutely have, never not. will. I the well. views of Mad Mike's are Mad Mike's own. Oh yes. I've been. I was gonna say, if people were starting to hold everybody's commentary <laughs> and hold Sorg reliable, I, I would have single handedly gotten Sorg out of business. Oh yeah, oh, <laughs> so yeah. many places. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Um, anyways, <laughs> it's old press is good press. Sorg. Oh, no, oh. Uh, I beg to differ. Uh, 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 is it? Uh, <laughs> Why do you guys keep doing that? Stop it. You're making me anxious. Ask, ask Enzo. <laughs> ask Ellsworth. Uh, Alex Cars, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Well, first of all, I'd like to say that uh, Antonio's take is steaming, all right. <laughs> wow. Jeez. <laughs> Second of all. This is Second great. of all. I, it's not so much something I learned, but something I was reminded of via a meme, uh, that uh, there's only one leader of Bullet Club that never won the I, IWGP uh, heavyweight championship. Yeah. I, I and he's unfortunately never quite won the big one. He won it for a right. day. Yeah. Hmm. True. <laughs> okay. okay. I, don't, I don't know what that means. What is he talking about? He's talking about uh, right, Finn Balor. Finn Balor. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Larry, what did you learn from wrestling this week? I learned Garza is a real person. <laughs> <laughs> this is your first time on with him. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Thanks for thanks for watching the midweek war, Larry. Jeez. I'm never... watching the product. Yeah. Yeah. That that, that was discontinued. Not caught up on the lore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ty Cross. Midweek lore. <laughs> Ty Cross is pointing out uh, in the chat room that Carl Anderson was technically a leader of the world club. That. Um, yep. I think that's accurate. Yeah. So. Is that? Um, Badger, did you come also up with not a world champion? I mean, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. I'm gonna be honest. I I don't watch like the main product very often That's unless fine. I like hear some buzz or like something like that. Like I've honestly watched more like on my opponents or like what's going on in the right. current indie scene. Like I try to see like who's who's getting. Buzz what, we haven't like had that. you on it. What have you learned from wrestling in the last like month? That uh, hmm. I got nothing. Sorry. That's fine. That's fine. You don't shit where you eat, Sork. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, what if I takes in this? There <laughs> is. There is. Um, I learned. I learned when that when the weather gets cold, I takes get hot. Oh wait, I guess I I have one. Uh, okay. I have uh, been 
it's I, wrestling has taught me how to Marie Kondo fold things so that I can try to get all my gear in my carry on. That is a legitimate answer. That is a life skill. Because I'm like, I am not paying no goddamn ninety five dollars for my duffel bag to get checked and lost. So it is fitting in that carry on or it's getting mailed down there like tomorrow. And hopefully it's still there when I get there. Does this new gear spark joy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How often does it get searched because of the fur? Um. Well, actually, like, I didn't. Do I, think you have, like, I haven't. I there? haven't. Oh fuck! That fucking fur is so big. Fuck! You just reminded me. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to wear it on the plane. <laughs> wear it in the carry on. Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wear it as my coat. There you go. What about the mask? Oh yeah, that might bring up some concerns when they scan it and there's just like a skull in there. <laughs> I'm going to get the TSA an extra that, like half an hour end. early. Yeah. Like, okay, it's just a mask. Just wait I'm a wrestler. Up. I'm going down. Oh, fuck. Uh, it's uh, all right. Just, just show up to the airport in full gimmick. Yeah. T- TSA <laughs> might be shut down. Oh, yeah. Again. Full gear. Yeah. <laughs> Allow time. Don't even. Do not. Do not even. I'm just with saying, that shit. There might not be I do not need there any more. Ex- I do not need. Well. Okay, they're not going to not well, search my bag. It's not, not like hey, the government is shut they down. Everybody that. get on with your bombs. They like, that's not if how If the it government's happens. shut down again, there might be no TSA. That's what I was saying. Well, right, <laughs> but they'll just, like, bring in the people that are forced to, unfortunately, work for free. It's just going to take, like, six hours to get through TSA rather than the two but if they're Do not. Free, I don't understand the plight. I of swear to God, I'm gonna You're have causing to, her a lot of stress. I'm gonna have right. to fucking meditate now and like do some like <laughs> fucking moon ritual shit. Like, okay, just just please, please let Fat Nixon keep the government open. Please let him keep hey, it open hey, until hey, I get back. That is WWE Hall of Famer Fat Nixon to you. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I never wondered. I always wondered what shade of Republican the McMahons were. Apparently, it's orange. Okay, hot takes continue hot here. Takes. I learned. <laughs> let me bring this conversation down uh, a few notches. Uh, I learned in 2019 you can yell two girls, one cup" at the end of a wrestling show and not get fired. Um, Be fair. No one knows what that means anymore. <laughs> good. Good. That's where we've come along. Uh, so we've come a long, we've come a long way. Also, some MMA fighters think they're in pro wrestling, judging by the entrances I saw on Friday night. At, uh, yeah, Ronda Rousey. Uh, try- hot take, hot take, hot take, hot take, hot take, hot take, hot take. Wait, wait, wait! Is that the hot take dance? Did I just? Yeah, I love it. Go back. I want to do it again. Go back. Do it again. Do it again. No. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> saw that. Monkey. I saw it. Nobody saw that except for like the people I could, here. I could see it on your monitor. Don't repeat fine. the spot. That was sword. my intent. Can't you play it back? Uh, no, because it's That's uh, why they we call didn't record that part. I, I wasn't switched <laughs> oh, to it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Do you want me to reenact it? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Honey Badger's F bomb count hot is hot like hot escalating as well. By the way, are you familiar with my work? <laughs> I, 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 I've seen you in action a time or two. The mere proximity I mean, to you is badger. slightly frightening, but it's um, it's been good. It's been a good experience tonight. So, uh, um, um, from the chat, <laughs> shit. I think, I think I pulled a muscle laughing. Uh, <laughs> all sweaty. All sweaty. You broke Sorg again. That's a good night. Night. That's so a you're good looking night like Big there. E over there. You're real shiny. Oh, I'm all shiny. <laughs> Wipe him down. Oh, wipe him down. Uh, Kyle learned that Marty Brown has been wished back with the Dragon Balls. Yeah, apparently Marty Brown is was backstage at WWE reportedly. Hey, oh, it, good it, for it, him. Picture of it. I, I please the return of the the pounds because oh, there wow. is also there, there's one okay. there's that one time at the gathering when he said he was going to do bad things to Chachi's mom. Uh, anyways, Ooh. Dave Podner, we have a history. Dave Podner's learned that <laughs> he enjoys Raw much more by falling asleep at 9.30 and not watching the end. Dave, you should try falling asleep at 8.30. I'll tell you what. <laughs> he was tweeting. He was tweeting that he took a nap at lunchtime so he could because of tonight's podcast schedule. Uh, so <laughs> I'm glad you can stay up with us. Welcome to Mayhem and Up All Night. Uh, Ty Cross uh, learned that... Um, I will sell that Sorg will no sell a great idea like Lorgatron, especially when it has to do with my Star Wars knowledge. Okay. <laughs> he out about her all night in the chat. <laughs> also, Bobby's internet died. That's why he wasn't around for this. Um, let's see. We said that. His Carl Anderson. Died? I just thought the load. 2001? Hey, he's in like Johnstown. Okay. I don't. 
Like it's like there could have be you tried flood. turning it you off and know. turning it back on? <laughs> It's like he's he's still on AOL Instant Messenger. So Jesus. Um, Kyle learned that Monty Brown. Oh, you know, we got that point. Um, do, 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 do. Wait, wait, wait. Why uh, Kyle here? also learned that Drake Maverick revealed that EC1 and EC2 are Braun Strowman and himself, respectively. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Pretty amazing picture. That's also a. Why didn't we get that? Why didn't we get those three guys booked? Up? <laughs> this is, this is, I know. We were right? right in the neighborhood. Bobby F. J. Town um, on that. Randy. Drake was Drake was eliminated. We can't. Oh, we can't do it. Oh, oh no! no! Who did that? Some asshole. Wait, I'll find out. I got to find out. We're we're going to give him mean looks. Here's your mean look. Uh, Brandon was the asshole. Brandon. See? Brandon. You've been a naughty boy. You've been a na- <laughs> you've been a naughty boy. Bobby F. Wow, J. Town. That, that took a turn. Finally, Bobby F. J. Town learned that Randy Orton had an easy week. He paused the game, got off the bus, RKO, <laughs> back on the bus, and now he can play GT. Hold on, this is all caps. GTA Five forever because he's off of Mayhem Mania. <laughs> also, my internet died. He says, <laughs> "Sorry." Damn it. <laughs> Honey Badger, thank you for being on, and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me. Where can people find you online, etc.? Uh, I am wait, Regina H. Badger on Twitter, at Regina H. Badger on Twitter, and then I'm Regina Honey Badger on uh, Instagram, and uh, my Facebook is uh, probably by the end of this month gonna no longer exist but get in if, while you can i know so <laughs> if if you type in my government issued name under regina badger i will come up there you go go check it out a lot of great stuff of course over on indie wrestling.us uh, our uh, few matches and clips um including you and calvin couture from last month's rise show uh is up there in clip form on the facebook and youtube that That's was fine. a lot of fun so go check that out may of course mainstream at one uh, T. One T out there. One uh, Y. Larry with uh, DarkForgeStudios.co. Yes. Um, presuming that a newspaper has not uh, visited him in the night yeah. for reasons. Don't mess with the press, I'll, man. I'll fill you in after Don't mess with the press. Right? You do not mess what with What did you do, the Ray? Pa- the right. newspaper. Which, hey, he took it to the papers, and they were not happy about it. Okay? You thought print was dead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. They are just <laughs> vengeful. Print ain't Prince. dead. You can line bird cages with it. You can wrap <laughs> fish with it. <laughs> okay, That's TV. So All right, TV, man. Uh, Mad Mike 483 on the Twitters, of course. He's got hot takes all week. And YouTube.com slash poppy. That's right. Garza, <laughs> where can people find your stuff? I'm still kicking at the re- eWrestlingRevolution.com. Uh, I'm also writing now for Figure 4 W Online. Ooh. So place. There you go. Um, Alex Cars. We already talked about OccupyProWrestling.com. Yes, Occupy with a Y. And yes. AlexCars.media. <laughs> and Tina, got anything to plug? <laughs> Uh, check out 321 Battle and Defy Wrestling out here in the Seattle area, as well as Without a Cause. We have a show on February 24th with Shane Strickland and Joey Ryan. And uh, yeah. what was that last one in front of the show? DJ Z. DJ Z. Burr, burr, burr. Burr, 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 burr. I think the snow was getting to her internet. Uh, so uh, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us in the craziness that is the Wrestling Mayhem Show and Mayhem Mania. We'll see you guys next week. Mayhem out. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, wait for the perfect time to attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time to attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.